hopefully you watch, uh, watched part one of this example uh, where there, this is a tower, this, these are two points on the ground and uh, these are the angle of depression from the top of the tower of these two points. So what we did was uh, we uh, we use Sokatoa basically in these two triangles, triangle B A P and triangle C A P, and we stopped. Hopefully, you have seen the video. I would, if you haven't seen, I would like you to watch that video. So we stopped here. I wanted to um, copy and paste this formula, so we're going to use this formula for compound angle formula. So this. Using this formula of tan A plus B, tan A plus B tells me this is tan A plus B is tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan B. And if it is tan A minus B, it will be tan A minus tan B over 1 plus tan A tan B. So using that formula, I hope you can see x is equal to h. I'll try to squeeze in this whole thing in this on this line so this is h times so you compare a with 45 and you b with theta so this will be this bracket tan a 45 plus theta would become tan 45 plus tan theta over 1 minus tan theta tan 45 times tan theta Okay, then you got a minus here, so minus tan 45 minus theta is tan A minus B. I'll put this in the bracket. Okay, so bracket tan 45 minus tan theta over uh, 1. So I'll also put this in bracket so that we can 1. If it's minus, it'll put a plus here plus tan 45 times tan theta. Okay, so this is just the numerator. So yeah, dividing by this denominator is same as multiplying by this, or one over that number. So I don't have space here, so I'll try to squeeze this in. So this is, let me instead of, okay, so let us do, so it's times one over this will be the same thing. So, 1045, I hope you know, is 1. So, 1045 minus theta is 1 minus. So, let me write like this. Okay, I don't have space yet, but I'll try to squeeze this in. So, this is 1 minus, so I'll write like this, 1 minus 10 theta over 1 this is 10 45 is 1. So this 10 45 minus theta is this expression. So instead of 10 45, I'm writing 1 to save space. So this is 1 minus 10 theta over 1 plus 10 theta. Is it clear? Times. This is times. So I'll put a dot there. This is 10 45 plus theta is this. So 10 45 is 1. So it's 1 plus tan theta over 1 minus tan theta. So I want you to think what happens to the denominator's denominator. I'll try to squeeze this in. So the denominator's denominator, this is times, will have will what will happen to that? I want you to think. So let me change color. So this is x is equal to h times this is this is 1 plus tan theta over 1 minus tan theta minus 1 minus tan theta so i now got enough space over 1 plus tan theta this is just the numerator times this denominator's denominator will go to the numerator. So this will become 1 plus tan theta times 1 minus tan theta. Lots of working. This is an excellent question, so you need to be patient. 
and the denominator. So this will become the denominator. So this is the denominator's denominator. And that has become the numerator. And this is, this will become the denominator. So this is 1 minus 10 theta. Oh, you could have cancelled the whole thing, but yeah, I hope I'm writing this just for you to see. 1 minus 10 theta times 1 plus 10 theta. So can you see this whole denominator gets cancelled? So this and this can gets cancelled and this and this gets cancelled. So this is nothing but 1. So we've got enough space now. So this is equal to, we're almost there. x is equal to h over. Now what will you do in here? Here, again I'll cross multiply. So this is 1 plus tan theta times 1 plus tan theta, which is 1 plus tan theta, the whole squared. 1 plus tan theta the whole squared minus this would be 1 uh, minus tan theta the whole squared because 1 minus tan theta times 1 minus tan theta is 1 minus tan theta the whole squared over 1 minus tan theta times 1 plus tan theta. Now to just expand this so as I, I keep telling my students when you don't know what to do, do what you know. There's always something that you can do. But the only, only thing is you have to be careful that you don't do silly mistakes. So if you're good in algebra, these things are easy. So this is using a plus b, the whole squared formula. This is 1 plus 2 tan theta. Uh, I'll put this in the bracket. Plus tan squared theta. Minus this expanding this, this is 1 minus tan theta times 1 minus tan theta, which is 1 minus 2 tan theta plus tan squared theta over using difference of two squares. This is a plus b, a minus b times a plus b, which is 1 minus tan squared theta. 1 minus tan squared theta. Okay. So here yeah, what will happen, so let's expand this bracket. So this is h over, this is 1 plus 2 tan theta plus n squared theta. So be careful when you've got a negative here, and this is where most of you can go wrong. Minus 1 plus 2 tan theta minus tan squared theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. We are almost there. So what will get cancelled? This plus 2 tan theta, sorry, go back. What will get cancelled? Plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled. Plus tan squared, minus tan squared gets cancelled. So, so x is equal to h times, this is equal to, 2 tan theta plus 2 tan theta is 2. Uh, this is 4. I'll write this as 4 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. Now this is again the last few steps are really interesting. So I should always have an eye on the end result. You want 2 h here and this is tan 2 theta. So this, you should know the double angle formula for tan. So yeah, so can I write this next step like this? x is equal to, okay, I'll write 2h times 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. And this formula should strike your, strike your brain that this is the double angle formula of tan 2 theta. This is, you can look up in your formula sheet, this is nothing but tan 2 theta. Okay, so finally, that's what we want. So x is equal to 2h times tan 2 theta. Okay, and we have proved this. So this notation is, say, we have proved this result. And that's what we want. x is equal to 2h times tan 2 theta.